Welcome back to the Hutchinson Sports Arena in beautiful Hutchinson, Kansas, where it is 29 degrees outside. With me is Coach Brian Burns, peach snapple lover himself. <laughs> coach Burns, how does it feel to get your first win as a head coach at the national tournament? It feels awesome. It was uh, Training Valley is really good. When you get the bye, you don't get an easy one. You have a hard one right away. Um, so for us to come out and play the way we did, I was really happy for us to be up 17 in the first half. I thought it might take us a half to figure it out, but no, the guys did a great job. They were locked in the last two days. I think them seeing some of the teams here on uh, Sunday kind of made them all lock in for the next two practices we had. So before the game, you know, Brandon and I were talking about Trinity Valley's defense. Could they stifle the firm? You know, they're giving up about 70 a game. And, you know, maybe a little rust on the Triton Trojans and you drop 105. I think they did a good job of pressuring us. I really did. And, uh, you know, we ended up having to go to the line a lot. And I think they tried to pressure us, take away our threes a little bit. Um, but we, we got a rhythm there. Mar got a rhythm there. And that kind of opened it up. And every time we break the press, we'd make a three that kind of kept it at bay. And we played well. You know, we, we, we've talked about the firm a lot this year. Um, it's actually a favorite pastime of, <laughs> of Nick and I to, to try and – get the names right and in the right order yeah, but yeah. um as a, as a lover of soup as you are <laughs> talk to me about aj dixon's 15 rebounds and just kind of what that does to really oh when he rebounds know. it's huge because we're not that big right. and you can see that so when he goes and rebounds for us it's massive it makes it really hard for us to to beat us we out rebounded them and we play one six eight guy there everyone else six five six five and two smaller guards so um him and tolu really did a good job on the glass and competing on that end and that was huge because we were worried about that. That was probably the number one thing we were worried about besides Ahmad and his ability to score was keeping them off the glass. You know, I did want to ask you, too, uh, going back to the firm. <laughs> I don't think we talked about this when we, when we spoke to you on Juco Jam. How do you or how do these guys, when you have four guys that can go off for 30 at any given moment, how do they kind of just settle into whichever role they're going to play that day when one guy is really, really just cooking and say, you know what, we're going to take our shots when we get them, but we're fine if you're the guy tonight. We lost Didier Malang, who you know, yep. start of the year. And when that happened, we called him in before Jamboree season and after Jamboree season, those four guys, and we kind of said, like, it's your team. We're going to go as far as you guys go. And we had meetings throughout the year, and it, it, it is their team. When they play well, we're really good. You know what I mean? And the great thing is having four of them is we probably only need three of them to play well to be really good. And they've been unselfish, and when it's certain guys' night, they accept it. And they've done a great job of that. And all four of them have kind of reaped the rewards of offers and everything like that. One of my uh, favorite coaches out here in the tournament, we were watching a game together yesterday, sharing some commentary back and forth, and a team was just pressing and pressing and pressing, and the other team was struggling with it. And he said, you know, Nick, he goes, you only get pressed if you allow yourself to get pressed. And I feel like when you have Dylan Williams, you just don't press Dylan Williams, right? They, they, they tried to pressure him, and he just seemed so cool, calm, collected, and unfazed. As Talk a, a little bit year, about Dylan. Like, I think he had a really cool performance tonight. As a first-year coach, he's been awesome. You know what I mean? He's mature. He's huddling the guys up at the end. We're just making sure no tax, nothing stupid, right? And he turned to me. I got it. He was already doing it. You know what I mean? And that maturity and that calming presence, um, he's huge. And he's mature, and he's mature on the court and off the court. And you see that in his play. And, that's what, and then when we break the press, we have so many guys that can shoot, and we're okay with them shooting threes. We'll break the press, and if Mar gets a three, he's letting it fly. If Dior gets a three, maybe a couple of them late I wasn't happy with, but, like, he made them, you know, and <laughs> that's what we try and do. And Dior's good with the ball, too, and A.J. and Amar can help handle it, and Will Scott does a good job coming in and helping it. So, you know, we don't play enough guys to press, so we haven't seen it that much, or we don't do it, but our press break has been good. A couple people tried to do it, and we've handled it okay. Yeah, absolutely. Coach, uh, you know, another easy one coming up as you as you continue your tour of <laughs> Texas. Texas yep. uh, South Plains is next. We'll, next, we'll let you get rested up. You get a rest day tomorrow. Wow. Hopefully you can si find some food here late at night. Snapple soup. I hope we there's a bowl it. of soup waiting for you back in your room. I don't know what I'm having. What's open? I think we got pizzas. Polo Lounge. <laughs> Polo Lounge is open. Everyone Polo, Lounge, Polo is Lounge is open. Coach. Shout out, Jason. We love you. Yeah, Coach, uh, and, and we love you too. Friend of the program. You've been Friend great with us. Yep. You've been great all year. 
uh, enjoy this one and yep. uh, have fun with your team tonight. And we yep. look forward to seeing you out here on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, too. We'll All be right. up here. All right. Like Thanks, it. Coach. Appreciate yep. it. Enjoy Appreciate it. it. Thanks, guys. Bye. And that is Coach Brian Burns with the Triton Trojans. You know, the last time Triton was in the national tournament, made a Final Four run. If they shoot the ball like they did tonight, it's going to be uh, going to be tough. That concludes day two of the national tournament. Believe it or not, while it is just day two, we are more than halfway through the tournament. We've completed 12 of the 23 games. And we're actually on to day three. If you look <laughs> it, technically, it is day three. So let me tell you about today's upcoming games. Uh, <laughs> in just a few hours, uh, Vincennes takes on Odessa. After that, we have Indian Hills Wallace State, Salt Lake Connor State, and Chipola Hutch. Brandon, today's going to be another great day of basketball can't wait any closing thoughts about what happened yesterday <laughs> now, now you got me confused um well, it's just day two of the tournament you know we, we've obviously seen a lot of basketball the last two 48 days hours. 48 hours whatever it is uh you and i watch an awful lot of basketball all the film that performance that we just saw out of Triton was probably one of the most impressive things that I've seen in, in some time. Because you come into these situations, and, and again, we've focused on the firm all year. It's fun to talk about them. We know they're good players. We know they're very well coached. But then to come into this environment and you say, okay, you know, at, at some point, like, it's going to kind of going to kind of settle down a little bit. It's just going to be tough, gritty win, whatever. The, the firm is the firm, man. They're really good. They're the real deal. And it's going to be really fun to watch them t uh, continue their tour of Texas as they play South Plains on Wednesday. Uh, great Tuesday slate of action, hours away. Uh, s stay tuned. We'll be back with you here in a few hours as Vincennes takes on Odessa. And that is good night from Hutchinson, Kansas in the sports arena.